In this video we will use API console to simulate the accessed code and access token flow. Please note, we will need to have an app, and use the client ID and client secret to test the app in API console. Once we have fill in the right client ID and secret, you are good to go. To simulate the OAuth flow click on the simulate OAuth flow button on the left hand side. This will redirect us to the Nordia authorization window. To test the flow, click on the mobile offline option. Here you can use any name for login ID. And for the code use six ones. And click on the login button. Once you accept the terms and conditions, it will take us to the screen where the user can grant consent. Once we grant access it will redirect you back to the API console with the code field pre-filled with the access code. In real scenarios the access code will be a part of the redirect URL as query parameter. Please note, the access code will only be valid for 60 seconds. Once this is done, we can use this access code to fetch the access token. To do this, we first need to select Identity and Access API from the API selection drop-down, and then select Get Access Token with Access Code Endpoint from the Endpoint drop-down. Then click Send Request button, which will in turn show in the response in the Response Body Parameters section. This is where you can see the Access Token and we can use this token to make API call to request account and payment information. Please note, the access token for a user will be valid for 90 days, and you can use the same token till it expires. That's it for this video. In the next few videos we will see how to use Nordio API to do different tasks. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments please drop us a mail at nordiaopenbanking at nordia.com.